hey hi guys uh, welcome to the video in this video i'll be showing the fastest way to get started with the firebase analytics in react native i have marked the video with the timestamps feel free to jump ahead if you are already done with few of the steps let's start off with creating firebase project if you have not already done it Next, I will create a React Native project. I am using TypeScript, but all the steps will remain same if you are using JavaScript. After that, we can go ahead and install libraries. I have provided the command in description. You can just copy from there. We will be installing app and analyticals library. Next, we will update the package name for Android. You can use whatever package name you want. Uh, after that, we we will create Firebase apps. I'll be just creating app for Android, but the process will remain same for iOS. I'm using the same package name that I used in the app.json file. When you create the app, you'll get JSON file for Android and a plist for file for iOS. Place them both in the assets folder as shown. And update the app.json file with the part to those files and also add the firebase app to the plugins we need to build the native apps by running the command shown you'll not be able to use the expogo app the setup part uh, for the firebase analytics is done now we can start coding we will create code to trigger predefined events and custom events. Predefined events are already defined in console and you can just call the method and pass the data required by that events. For custom events you can pass whatever data you want. And code to trigger both of these events are very simple as shown. Uh, and also there are reserved events that starts triggering automatically once the setup is done. Now, if we click these buttons, the respective ev events will be triggered. Both the events will not appear as soon as it's triggered on the analytical dashboard. The events are batched and sent, uh, so it usually takes around like 30 to 45 minutes. After that time, you can just open the open and close the app, and the event will appear in the real time tab as shown. You can verify the data that we just sent. Also, the event will appear in the dashboard only after one day. Once it appears, you can check all the usage uh, data on your app as shown. As you can see, there are a few reserved events that are automatically triggered are showing up. That's all for, uh, for the Firebase uh, analytical setup in React Native. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please consider subscribing.